Hey howdy hey partners, today we have the brand new Roundup Fun Woody from Mattel for 2022. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, as we're on our way to 100,000 subs. Here it is partners, the release you've been waiting for, the brand new 2022 Mattel Woody with 30 plus sounds and phrases. We're in this together, partner. Unfortunately, look at that head sculpt. Boo. We were advertised a closed mouth smile on Amazon, as you can see here in the screen caps. But in reality, we ended up getting this, which it's not my favorite head sculpt of Woody, I'll be honest. But I do appreciate other details about this, which we will get into. I do like the background. You can see the soldiers on the ground. You see the wagon. It looks like Andy's room in there. And also here, it's really interesting because it looks like he has a closed mouth smile, like the promotional photo. So they did change it. It says, try me on the back there. He does have an accurate color uh, belt buckle, which I can already see, which is nice. And I really like this picture of Woody. He's from Toy Story 4, Woody right there. Down here, it says Roundup Fun Woody. And it says Disney Pixar Toy Story from Mattel. Side of the box is just pretty plain. It just says Disney Pixar Toy Story. Here you can tell again in the promotional photo here, he has a closed mouth smile right there. It's not open like this is. So they did change that in the production. He does have a movie accurate pull string ring size. This time it's small. And also the way it hangs down, it looks like the movie, which is interesting. He has all these awesome details printed on jeans, of course, it's not real. And also right here, it says also available. It's the new 2022 Mattel Buzz Lightyear. Mine is delayed right now on Amazon. I don't have it yet. So I'm waiting for that to release. But so far we have Roundup Fun Woody. So it's better than nothing. The other side is also repeating the logos. Let me show you the top view. The top view just says Roundup Fun Woody. And if you want to see the barcode information, here it is right here. I heard that these are starting to drop now in Targets. So check your local Targets. Maybe you'll get lucky there. And they should be available on Amazon because that's where I got mine. Mattel, why do you do this to us? I wonder what the production meetings are like. Do they just say, hey, we should make a movie accurate Woody. Close mouth smile. And then they're like, nah, just go with the smiley one instead. I just don't get it. I don't understand because they advertise close mouth smile, but we didn't get it. No hairlines at all, but I do like the sculpt. You can still tell it's Woody. I mean, he has the brown eye detail and stuff like that. I just wish it was closed mouth like they advertised. I don't know why they don't do that. He has a really nice badge if you look at the detail. It's not texturized or anything, but I do like the way it looks. It looks more like the movie. I just wish the paint job would have been a little better. I think the no buttons and the printed on vest is a cheap out, especially because you're paying $30 for this and it's not even movie size. So Disney store would be better than this because at least the Disney store has some cheap buttons and a vest appearance, you know, that's separate. I do really like the belt buckle detail. It looks like it's 3D printed, you know, it's 3D, it's popping out. It's not just flat and cheap looking. They didn't cheap out on the belt buckle. The color is spot on and I love the detail. It reminds me of the collection belt and the modded one that I have. Here they did a great job with the yellow. A little sloppy paint job right there. But it looks more like the movie in the holster. At least they attempted to paint it. They should have painted the sides yellow as well. The company cheaped out there as well. If I worked at Mattel, I would definitely change a lot of things here. Uh, printed on jeans. It does look nice though. I will say there's kind of like a natural fading to white here. So it kind of looks like washed out, which is true to the movie. In the back, no real pockets. We do have real loopholes here, but no real pockets, unfortunately. And down here, the boots are okay. you got the cactus detail and these little details. If you painted the spurs yellow, it'll look better. I'll probably mod this. And then down here at the bottom, no Andy. So you can write your own name or you can, I'll probably write Andy on mine. These boots look good for what they are. It's proportionate to Woody. Just need to paint this part yellow, but the belt is a good job. This tag sticking out here on the side is kind of weird. It's too long. That should be cut off. The good thing about him here is the pull string ring is small and it kind of rests lower on the vest like in the movie. So if you look at the movie still, you can see that it matches more like the movie. So that is a good job on Mattel for the back. I do like that. It's a smaller pull string ring. It rests low like that, like the movie. So that's pretty cool. And the bandana is separate. I'm sure we can tie it off and take it off if we wanted to. 
But the problem with this Woody is that it's not like you can really mod the head because, I mean, I'm sure I could take it off, but he's a unique size. He's not movie size. He's 12.25 inches tall, which means he's like four or five inches shorter than a real Woody. So you can't really do a head swap. And then the Mattel seven inch line, his head's gonna be too small if you did a head swap there. So he's a very unique size. So you're kind of stuck with this. Uh, if you do get this and you wanna mod it, you can't really do too much. The voice box though is really cool. And I will show you some of those phrases right now. Hold it right there, bandit. Thanks to deputies like you, the Wild West is safe. <laughs> Where's my rope? Gotcha. Well, howdy, I'm Sheriff Woody. Whoa! This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Hey, who's got my hat? A sheriff always needs his deputy. We did it! We stopped the robbery! So that's all the phrases he has. He does say somebody's poisoned the water hole, which I really love. I think that's probably the best part about him. He has really good phrases. It does sound like Jim Hanks to me, but then sometimes when he speaks, I'm like, is that really Jim Hanks? It kind of sounds like a different person. I don't know what kind of batteries this is, but it looks like the smaller ones. And here's the speaker unit. There's no switches or anything on this. It's very simple. The problem with the voice box that I don't like is that it doesn't really recoil. It just kind of... It just stays in place, which isn't bad per se, but you don't have that fun, like, pull it out and recoil. So there's very little give, and that's it. It's, it's a cool it's a cool Woody, I, I will admit. It's better than the 7-inch line because at least you get something that feels more like an actual full-scale Woody because you do have a ragdoll body. You know, you can flop around and throw them around. Not a big deal. <laughs> He does have a floppy head, which I just noticed right now. So that's actually really cool by Mattel. They did listen to the fans with the floppy head thing because there is some give there with the head. It's not just really fixed. There's a lot of fun there with, whoa. <laughs> that's a floppy, floppy Woody. And I do like that it's ragdoll properties. It feels like a regular Woody. It's just smaller scale. So if you want to take a Woody around, this is a good one for traveling because he's pretty small. You can have fun with them like a regular Woody. He shouldn't break. He's, he looks like he's built pretty tough. This does swing right here at the holster. Unfortunately, his hands are not open-handed. They do rotate 360, so that is cool. And he does have fake buttons printed on, unfortunately. There's some mods I'm sure you could do to this, but I don't know. I don't think I would bother too much with mods on this one because he's just so small. Roundup Fun Woody, he's just, he is what he is, and I'm going to accept this Woody for what he is because I'm not really planning to, like, do any crazy mods or anything. The one thing I would paint was probably just the spurs, but, and right, Andy on the bottom. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to mod this Woody or anything. But let me know your thoughts below. I'm really disappointed, Mattel. Why did you not give us a closed mouth smile like you promised on the Amazon listing? They should take those photos down because we did not get a closed mouth smile. So that is a bummer. Looking at the hat that it came with, there's nothing special about it. Um, they should have painted the detail of the dark brown line right here at least it's molded there but it's kind of odd they didn't paint it and then obviously there's fake thread they cheaped out on that 
You know, for a $30 toy, I would expect a little bit higher quality or attention to detail. It's really cheap, flexible plastic, which is fine. I'm sure it's durable, but it does feel a little on the cheaper side. This part's a little thicker um, right there. It doesn't squish as easily, but the sides are really flexible. I really think if I was Mattel, I would at least put cotton thread. If I couldn't do like vinyl or a leather stitch cord, I would do um, just cheap cotton at least. So we have the option to mod it. Um, but yeah, if I was Mattel, I definitely would have made that change for the hat. But at least it comes with a hat. So yes, the hat does fit Woody well, and you can still do the head flop um, without it falling. If you press it down on his head, it's like a little suction there. So it definitely works well. And when I was testing the floppiness, his head does stay on his body, which is really cool. It's pretty fun. I would say it is a fun Woody. It's not a movie accurate Woody at all, but it's still a fun one to have to the, for the collection. Yeah. Seriously, why is this $30? I would have charged, personally, I would have charged maybe $20 max for this. $18.99, $21.99, $30 is just too much for this, Woody. You're better off buying a Disney Store Woody because it's actually movie scale. Well, it's a little taller than movie scale, but it's closer to movie scale height than this one. Now, this was kind of a hard shot to achieve because he doesn't stand on his own. So I got this stand to delete him on. But basically, Roundup Fun Woody comes in at around 12.25 inches. Here's the 7 inch Mattel Scared Woody that came with the Benson 2 pack. And here is my Cloud Pattern USA 2009 Toy Story Collection Woody. So you can kind of see the size scaling of the new Mattel Roundup Fun Woody and how he scales in height. So getting the measuring tape here, he's about 12.25 inches, a little bit over with the hat. I just think this Woody is a very odd size because he's too small to be movie accurate scale size, but he's also too big to be part of your seven inch Mattel collection line, which makes me wonder, what did they make this Woody for? Is it just kind of a fun play Woody that you can just play with that is not movie size? I don't know, I just don't understand the logic. Um, if they would have made this more movie accurate, like it would have been a little cooler because it's more novelty. But unfortunately, we just got this, which is fine. I still will have fun and make videos with this Mattel Woody. And it is cool for 2022 to see new Woodies coming out still. I just think it's very interesting. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this new Random Fun Woody compared to the 7-inch Mattel one and the Toy Story Collection Woody size? Well, I hope you partners enjoyed today's review of the new 2022 Mattel Roundup Fun Woody. He's a very interesting Woody indeed. It's got a lot of great details about him, and he's got a lot of details I don't like about him. Uh, it's a fun Woody to throw around. You know, this is going to be like a good stunt Woody for me because I don't have to worry about damaging him or breaking him because he's not really something I want to preserve. Just want to have fun with, like the title says, Random Fun Woody. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you have this Woody? What are your overall thoughts? You heard mine. And it's just going to be a fun addition to the collection. As always, partners, we're on our way to 100,000 subs this year. If you want to help support me, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You are the real Buzz Lightyear. You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, him. Look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.